What's up, Cal Gang? All right, so we got this problem, and it's, so basically a bullet hits a wooden block, and then it compresses the spring, and it wants us to know, like, the velocity of this block right after the collision happens. Uh, it tells us how far the spring goes in. So basically what we're doing here is, is this is a big energy problem. Um, so what we can start out by writing is we know that the change in uh, like potential energy uh, plus the change in kinetic energy is going to be equal to zero, right? If you the change uh, if you like increase the potential energy by some amount, the potential energy gets decreased by the same amount. So on our thing here, we have the two forces, which are the spring and the energy by the bullet, right? Uh, so we're looking at the block on this question. So let's let's start with the kinetic energy. So the kinetic energy is one half mass velocity squared. So, and then we're looking at change, so it's gonna be initial minus final. So it's gonna be final, or it's gonna be final minus initial. So one half mass velocity initial squared. Okay, so what are we looking at here? So, okay, so the mass of the whole system, this is what the mass is, which is gonna be the block in the, in the, in the uh, bullet, and then the velocity at the end, which is what we're looking for. This is what we want and then the velocity at the initial, which is zero because it's at no motion. So this is gonna get canceled out to zero. And this isn't just all that we have, we have the spring force too, so let's consider that. So we know that the spring, um, so let's think, so the change in U is the, uh, the energy in final minus the energy initial. So this is also gonna be one half. Um, so this is the spring constant times um, the chain, or x initial, or x final squared. Uh, this is the formula for uh, U spring is equal to one half k x squared, right? So that's what we're using for this part. And then we're gonna also subtract that from one half k x initial squared. Okay, so we know that x initial, once again, that is also gonna be zero, because we're starting at, you know, no change, the spring is at like a neutral position. So this is also zero. And all of this is equal to zero. So then we can go ahead and plug in what we know, right? So one half, the mass of the system is going to be the bullet, or the bullet plus the block. The bullet is eight grams, and the block is uh, zero point nine nine two kilograms. So if you convert the bullet to kilograms, so it'll be zero point zero zero eight plus zero point nine nine two, which very conveniently factors out to just one. It gives you one. So velocity final is what we want. Velocity final squared, I mean, and then plus one half. Um, so we need the spring constant, right? Uh, and luckily, it gives us this thing here. So this calibration of the spring shows that the force of 0.75 newtons is required to press the spring 0.25 centimeters. So another thing, we have the force of spring is equal to the kinetic, or the, the spring constant times the uh, x, right? Or the delta x, basically. So if it's 0.75 newtons is equal to the constant times the change in x, which is 25 centimeters, or 15, 25, right? Yeah, 25. No, zero mind. 0 0.25. But then if we're converting that to meters, we're going to have to divide it by 100. Of course, you're going to move this to the other side. You'll get the constant is equal to 300. Okay, so moving that into here, 300. And then um, the change in x squared, which is 15 centimeters this time. So this is 15, but over 100 squared. And then this is all equal to zero. So if you move this over to the other side, multiply by 2, and then you uh, do all this stuff, and you take the square root, you're going to get velocity is equal to 2.60 meters a second, right? Okay, so that's part one. That's the uh, velocity just after impact. And then what's the initial speed of the bullet? Okay. How do I do this? <laughs> okay, so same, same thing again. It's going to be, uh, this is not the same thing, but the same thing as I was doing earlier. So the in uh, initial, um, momentum is going to be equal to the final momentum, right? The momentum is conserved. So momentum is equal to mass times uh, velocity, right? Okay, so initially you got the bullet, so it's 0 0.008 kilograms times the velocity, which we want to know, and that's going to be equal to the mass of the whole system, which is 1, times uh, the velocity, which you just found is 2.6. So then if you solve for velocity, you'll get velocity is equal to 325 meters a second. Yep. And that's how you find that part. Okay, so yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, good luck on your physics homework, guys.